You can't farm without tools, but do you know what these are used for? Don't worry, the average farmer doesn't either. What's your first thoughts? Well, it like reminds me of a wrench, but it's huge and it doesn't look It like does. It's... A lot of people say that like the old, uh, the disc wrenches. Yeah. The, uh... I have no idea what this is. What you got there? That one, I'm not sure. It could be used for... Eh? Hmm. You can pick it up and look at it. Well, could have been used for butchering something. Hogs, chickens. Could have been used, so I know I've got an old fence stretcher that... I don't know if it's another fence stretcher, but... You'd attach your wire, and you'd crimp it, and then you just pull it around the post by hand. Yeah, I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That is not it. Oh. I, I'm curious how you would butcher chickens with that. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, let's see if it tells me. It's patented. A giant wrench. No, it is not, <laughs> but it's uh, surprising how many people guess that. that. That's what I would think, too. Stirrups. You're going to hook these onto your saddle and use them in your horse. How does that work? Not even sure, but I thought I'd try <laughs> that one. <laughs> no idea what this is actually going to do for me. You ever use one of those? I have never seen one like that before. It's it's aggressive looking, isn't it? I could see why they don't make those anymore. And they're gonna you're gonna be able to get a hog to stand still long enough to stick their feet in that? No, the mouth. The mouth. You, oh, I see. Yeah. And then you just grab this as a handle, huh? And you pull it backwards. Yeah. And then the hog's yeah. gonna pull against you. Yeah, yeah. Tool for a threshing machine. Uh, over on the south side, then. A yeah, tool yeah, for yeah, a threshing yeah. machine? Yeah. Like a, like a wrench almost? Yeah, pretty much like a wrench. That's a wrench. I bet that's for taking disc blades off. I, that's uh, what a lot of people guess, but a lot of people are wrong in life too, aren't they? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I think that's what they uh, used to pull on the hogs and that to uh, put on the snout and, and pull them. You ever use one? When I was real young. When you were real young. <laughs> probably when the hog was pulling you. Yeah. <laughs> probably a boot puller. Have no idea. Any thoughts? Any guesses? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of a, just never, a yes-no guy, aren't haven't you? haven't seen much this. you got angles on, going both ways, so I don't have any idea of that. You know, I bet you you run that over a hog snout, too. Exactly. It's a hog holder. Yep. Okay. Hog holder? Yeah. It's amazing how many people don't read it. <laughs> well, I couldn't make out hog at first. How do you hold a hog with this? You put it on their snout and then you like pull towards you. Where's a hog at? Oh man, you're looking good now. <laughs> so if you want to up here, yeah, whoops, there you go. If you wanted to catch a, a sow and put rings in its nose so it didn't tear fences up, yeah. you put the their snout in there and then put uh, Put the ring in. Put the rings yeah. in their nose so they couldn't tear up your fences and rid up your ground. It's got two sizes. Two sizes. One's yeah. for smaller and this is for the big boys. Yeah. That's a, it's an aggressive tool. Yes, it is. <laughs> you can break some eye teeth with them. You ever use anything like that? Don't think so. Some kind of stretching mechanism. Crossbow. It has a handle here that's supposed to go in it. Yep. <laughs> That is quite something. That one you got me on. Is it a household item? It is. Well... Does it have anything to do with making a broom? No. No? No. This one's a funky one. So now you broke it. I didn't break it. It's meant for... Man. Reminds me of a fence stretcher. That's 400 years old and you just broke it. <laughs> Can I, like... Get a hint. Um, if you uh, if you wanted to get rid of your hardwood floors, you might use this. This needs some WD-40 there. <laughs> they aren't a sponsor. I, I couldn't tell. <laughs> I had a lot of things involving shoes and feet, so I feel like it's got to be something like that. You would think so, but <laughs> no. Has something to do with the rug. Why, why would you say that? I don't know. <laughs> You're right. 
stretcher? Is it it's a, stretcher? a carpet stretcher, okay. yeah. Hey, you ever done that? No, I watched my uncle do it, though. Oh, your uncle was Not a... with that, though. Oh, he used like the knee yep. thing they got now, yeah. Yep. First thing I would have thought of was another fence stretcher, but I've seen all sorts of kinds of those. The concept is right. You're stretching something. Stretching garden wire? No. I'm not sure what this is either. Does that one have you stumped? It does, I have no idea. Does it have anything to do with a, a roof? No. Trying to get something smooth that's fairly rough and hard, I would think. Like a comb? Well, you, what do you mean comb? I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help I, you I, out. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't call it a comb. <laughs> Not with this. No. So, when your vehicle has frost on it in the morning and you <laughs> scrape the windshield, this will do it, right? You could tell you're from the Dakotas. We don't have frost like that. Oh, that would that would be a little thick as well. What does this do? It's to make cheese curds. Oh, curds, really? Really? No. I just, no, just since you're say. from Wisconsin, I said. Looks like a carpet stretcher. It could be. Look at that! Right off the bat. You ever put in carpet with something like that? No. No. <laughs> I've heard about it, but I've never put in. Excellent. <laughs>